Hi guys, I'm here with you with another Shadal deck profile for the upcoming format, and I just want to go ahead and get into like a prototype build with some ideas that you could feed off of, and things that I've noticed where the format is going to change and shift in the next few weeks. You may it may shift this way, so I predict. I'm just trying to think about how everybody else is going to think and what they're going to do with the big tournaments. And the Boston Chicago is coming up, and I'm going to be playing Dallas. And I'm not sure if my list is going to be exactly like this, but I'm, this is just a prototype, and. Here we go, let's dig into it. Uh, we're going to start with the Shadow Engine. We've got the three beast. I really think this guy is very necessary at three in the deck just because drawing everything you need is very important. Uh, two Skull Mana. Um, three may be an option because it's an Alta Unicorn and stuff like that in a gen lock, but I think two just works just fine because you can search it out. Uh, two Falco. Two is necessary. My uh, one dragon, he might go to two, but one seems very good right now because there's not too terribly much back air playing. And I feel like the only way, wait, and the bouncing effect's not really relevant right now because Nick Air's like to go by the hand. Uh, and one hedgehog because searching that spell is not as good. You just want to use it to fuse with it and search for a card you need for a fusion, I guess. Three math man. Uh, it's very necessary at three. You want to open up this card. You want to go first, obviously, unless you're playing a Nick Air's matchup. And, but the thing is, you still want to go first. Like, opening up this card is really powerful. If they don't, if they can't trace your turn one, you're still good, you know. If you might draw into a veil or something. Um, Danko, two of them. Two Danko Seca. Um, the reason for Danko now is the fact, I think the format's about to shift back to more, more trap cards that are actually set and stay. And they won't be continuous cards, they can just stop you. So Phoenix Chain is going to become live again, and this card's going to be like, hey, um, I'm going to stop you from doing anything. Because I think Stone Knight's going to become really popular within the next few weeks at uh, Chicago, because it's really good. Dolls will come popular again, but people are going to be skeptical because it has a weird Necros matchup. So they're going to try to stay away from that. So I can see Burning Abyss with like 15 traps, 14 traps playing again. So this is going to be really good within the next few weeks. Uh, two Valor. Uh, this it may go to three. I'm still shifting around numbers. So I may go down to one Danko and two uh, Triple Valor. So that's an option. Valor's really good at stopping Trish, and that's the main thing you want to stop. And Torgad. And that one Torgad. Mathman's also an option to stop. And Dineth. And Vague. And all, two, all those things. Um, we got one Felice. This card's amazing against most matchups. Except for BA, honestly. And then this come out, it comes out against BA. And this basically just nukes the field when you need to. When it comes to me, Black Rose for Math Hand. One Para Peril. This card is so good. Um, You don't care if you draw it. I don't care if I draw it anyways. I'm going to discard it with Beast or I'm going to fuse with it. It has so many utility. Like, And you can foolish if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. It's just a really, really good card. I don't care if I draw it. People are like, oh, it's bad to draw. But this card's so good. The Math Man. Then I'll just gen lock. Uh, we got three dragons. I went back to playing these. Like, a lot of people aren't playing them. This thing just gives you rank four out, like, and be able to recycle with the, I guess, the emerald. This is really what I'm using it for. It made the, the grind game better. And the black dragon, along with the one wyvern to go along with it to search out our daddy D here. This card's too broken whenever you're going for game, so why not play it? It won't be a list. Something else to banish the wire. Um, some people play Bazoo. I'm thinking, but I, I really don't think it's necessary right now because I'm going to be playing with too many normal summons in the first place. So I think that he's kind of slow. And, and every time, I don't want to open up with him at all. Late the game, he's awesome. And Para Para kind of replaced him. 25 monsters. Um, we got three shit off fusion. Some people playing two, but I think three is necessary because I want to draw it. And extra deck monsters are kind of more live lately, like Chain. Uh, three El Shadal. This card's a broken. Is that one of the SDG now? Sad face. Uh, Wood Alert. Digging. Foolish digging. Book of Moon out. It's really, it's, it's finally got a super. Uh, Reggae Disturb out. And Mind Control. Mind Control is really good right now. Uh, well, in the, f in the future, it's going to be really good. I'm going to take a Unicorn and make a rank four with it. That's really what you're doing. Or you can make a rank uh, four. You can fuse with the monster you take. It depends on what you take. And it's just awesome that you can make a rank four and you can fuse with the stuff. So it's just really good. And if it's not good in the matchup, just side it up. Uh, 
three shadow games. Uh, some people like to play two, but I think you really want to open up with three of this. You can side out the third one in most matchups, but three is very necessary in my opinion. We got one core, no, no more is necessary, and one raid structure. Uh, the raid structure is the only trap that I, I'm playing that's becoming unbanned. I'm not playing Crush card. That card is kind of mediocre at the moment, and you don't really want to sack up a Falco because you'll get no effect. It's, it's, I don't know, it's just not worth it in my opinion. Because it can be dead. I don't really want it to be dead at all. Uh, three maxi facade. BA. Spam decks like Dark Matter and Hot Uh, got three Lancia. Necros. And Ritual Beast and stuff like that. We got three MST. Just back row eight. Side deck eight. Uh, three Twister. Basically, this might change, but three twisters is really, uh, really good in this deck because you just want to clear stuff at the top and no TK. So, and three mind cards. One of the best trap cards in the game right now. It's really good against Necros and it just helps you get through Val. And we got three contract. It's banned in the SG. It's crazy to me. It's going to come back, don't worry. Uh, we might get this hit soon, so I might as well play this deck at last three contract while I can. Uh, to win the, the out to the deck that are going to become good. And then you got two Shek. I usually only play one Shek, but two Shek's going to become better with Para Para and stuff like that. So, I just think this card's going to become better because it's good against Trishula and stuff like that. Uh, one Lavarba Chain, you know, my favorite extra day monster. He's awesome. He has hey, so much utility. we got one deck of Swam Room. This card's really powerful right now. I uh, usually don't play this. I wasn't when I first started playing the artifact version, but this card's really good right now because it's gonna shuffle back in the cards that you don't. It's like your bazoo, basically. You make it with the dragons, and he's gonna help you b return things to your deck, make your grind game better, draw a card, and drop dead. Dweller, awesome against most a lot of decks. Situation cards, Castell and Exton. Just that board right back. It's Necros and Cleese and stuff. Uh, Arcanite and Black Rose and Leo. Well, that's it for the deck profile. Um, there's some, well, for the deck list, um, there's so many different things you can do with this deck, but basically, you just really want to open up with a way to make Mathman Shadow Games live and then draw into your combo pieces, make stupid fusion plays, grind your way out, make just make sure you get to the game. Like, you just have to out-advantage your opponent. That's why I think this deck takes more skill than most of the decks that have been created in the last couple years in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I love it to death. This deck is awesome, and I hope you enjoy my deck profile. And tell me what you think. I want to... Uh, sometimes I don't see... play Not plays, like... I don't see reasons to not play cards and the reason to play cards. But I want to hear what you think. And tell me what you think about my doll build. Twilight Dolls and Trey out.